Hey, what is up guys? Guitarok here, welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so we're gonna do some Guild Wars. Let's see who do we have to fight against. A rank 7 team. This is rather interesting. We have... Oh... A Cecilia plus 13. 49%, 45%. This is not going to be easy. Cecilia and... Um... Michaela and most likely it's a John to Cecilia and that's how it's going to be huh you want to place John and Cecilia combo right there you know what I might actually be able to do this yeah I might be able to beat this team man because if it's really the case I can just use S mode to pillage the taunt not sure though uh, let me think yeah let me jump into the team and then Perhaps I can try and craft a strategy around it? Alright, alright, alright. So based on what I'm seeing, this is a very... A pretty scary formation to fight against. So we have a Walia to Livia. Livia charges up. And I have no idea who, who will go next, but most likely, it's a Venaka to Anastasia. So I'm thinking of running the Zenith Wiggle combo. Basically, if Anastasia hits... Uh, Zenith, what happens if she was she will receive the concentrated fire? So right here, I'm gonna go with Serendia to uh, Wiggle. Hopefully, we'll be able to get rid of Anastasia, Foxy, and Wilhelmina. So this should work. But and then the problem is once I get rid of the warriors, I have to worry about uh, who is next to go. And in this case, most likely it's gonna be. I have no idea who it's gonna be. It will either be Livia, I mean no, it will either be John to Cecilia or a Lucius. So placing S mode here is kind of risky because what happens is that if the enemy uh, has the Livia go first, I mean has the John and Cecilia go first, I will absorb the taunt, right? So that will put me in a in a kind of a dangerous spot so if Asmode has taunt and Livia is gonna hit Asmode uh, I'm doomed because that's like in the middle of everywhere so to counter that I really need like I really need another taunter especially in front so I'm thinking of replacing my Ceres perhaps with something like a Seer maybe that's a safer option Something like this. I don't really need Sayer to be honest. So maybe something like this. Is this safe enough though? I know the taunt priority is they always give uh, to the more front unit. So even if Asmod taunt and Sayer has taunt, uh, Sayer would receive the priority because uh, she is further in front. So this is based on my knowledge in Novice Arena because I run like 3 taunters in Novice. So, hopefully uh, the theory works here in Guild Wars as well. I don't see why it shouldn't. But based on what I'm seeing right now, Walia to Livia. So basically I will just like neglect Walia entirely. Uh, Walia's taunt because Walia is all the way at the back. Basically with John Cecilia, yeah, I would priority prioritize on Cecilia first for sure. Alright, so let's go. I'm going to go ahead and attack it. 3, 2, 1. Damn, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think this is going to work. It should work. There's no way it, it, it wouldn't work. Let's go. Alright. Anastasia. Okay, so concentrated fire. Wiggle going in. Alright, everything going according to plan. Okay, now this is the secondary plan. Asmode, thank you. Oh, oh, get rid of that Livia, thank you. Okay, so now I don't have to worry about Livia. The plan works. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> oh man. Okay, okay. So that went well. That went well. I'm actually very happy with the results. Uh, so yeah, slowly I'll just get rid of John get rid of Lucius. Lucius is charm. Why is she... Wait, what? 
he, I haven't activated his death guard yet. Okay. I thought I activated his death guard already. But regardless, that's a lot of points. Perfect win. Damn, I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. I'm extremely happy with that. Whew. Alright, so moving on to the next opponent we have. Alright, so next opponent we have this. I have no idea if this is Korean or is it Japanese, but most likely it's Japanese based on the characters. It looks like Japanese. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. There's a Belioff, it's a plus 3 Belioff, it's a plus 3, okay. Plus 3 Veronia. I'm not scared of plus 3 Veronia usually. Uh, Mary is plus 10 though. So let's see if I can do this. Um, yeah, this is not going to be easy, but I hope that I have a strategy moving forward into this. So here's what I'm gonna do. Looks like it's a Mary to Belioff. Belioff to Veronia, Veronia to Anastasia. So I will have my Cecilia defending right there. I have no idea if my Cecilia would survive or not, but I'm sure hope that she does. And if she doesn't, I do have Sayre to distract from Anastasia who might survive from round 2. Wait, that doesn't make sense because Livia will most likely kill her. But if Livia does move first, I will have Asmode moving later. And yeah, this could be a problem as well because of that Sayre, right? That Sayre is gonna hit me and perhaps might set up a, a taunt against her. So in that case, usually Sayre moves last. So it's going to be very scary, and in that case, if I want to be safe, I think having a Grace is going to be much better. So this is what I'm going to do. Most likely I'm going to place a Grace right here. Uh, I know it's a little bit weird, why am I using Grace? But it's just for security, because... I can't find my Grace. Alright, because of this. Uh, if my Cecilia dies, if my Cecilia dies, killed by Anastasia, alright? So the, when the next uh, round 2 appears, Livia would move first, and then I would still have the move to basically chain everything into Asmode, and then goes into Vals. But if I use Sayre right there, Livia kills Sayre, and then because of this Sayre right there, it, which I don't think I'll be able to get rid of in round 1, my Vals will be forced to attack her and Anastasia is going to end up wrecking everyone. So it's just like 3 moves in advance. You gotta think 3 moves in advance. It requires like a deep brain, a deep thinking. It's not easy to craft the perfect strat, but I think I got this. I think I got this. Let's go. Belioff, can my Cecilia survive? Oh, she can. And I was worried for no reason. <laughs> okay, so she can survive. So scratch that plan. My plan is only for in case she doesn't survive. So what do I do next, right? So now that she survived, I guess I should be pretty safe. Let's see, Livia is gonna hit. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem, no problem. So I just have to worry about getting rid of everyone else. No problem, my will help me now will take care of you. So it's just a solo Livia at this point. Can I do it? I should be able to do it. No problem. Uh I have triple warriors. Zoom! Easy! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Stats weakening immunity. That's what you need on Vals to rid of Livia's basically. Alright. Two down, one more to go. Let's see who will be the victim today. Alright, so I've gotten like two perfect wins so far. I just need to make myself... I just need to make my guild proud, you know? Gotta carry my guild. Hopefully we can get into top three this season. Uh, it seems a bit tight, but I need to get one more perfect win. I need to make sure that the next attack is a perfect win. So let's go, let's see. How about this one? Oh man, this form is going to be annoying. Shield runes on Cecilia, what? <laughs> okay, it's so a John to Cecilia for sure. Most likely that's gonna be the case. Uh, yeah, this, this looks pretty fun actually. If I can send in a Lian, 
Oh, it's a plus 9 Livia. It's not a plus 10, it's a plus 9. Actually, it looks pretty fun. But, alright, I'm gonna scout around and I'm gonna decide. I will find a suitable opponent that matches my level. Let's go. Okay, so the last opponent I'm gonna hit is Mighty Ram. Okay, so two of my guildmates already attacked and this guy sets up a trap with Ser going first. So we're gonna figure out roughly. This is a Belia plus 3 but he's not like taking full advantage of the range which is quite uh, finicky or I mean which is kind of weird I think. So Livia is not maxed out, it's not even close to max, it's only a plus 2. Velfen is plus 1, so this should be an easy one, so let's go. Okay, so after several minutes of thinking and tinkering about, I think I'm gonna debut my Endolin in Guild Wars. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go with the usual stuff, and then Asmode, and then Wilhelmina, and then Vals. Alright, so we'll have Endolin Cecilia, going uh, roughly afterwards so hopefully this should be i believe my cecilia should have the capabilities to survive everything that a sigmund foxy wilhelmina and velfen can throw at her so shouldn't be a problem uh velfen is plus one i would have been worried if that was a plus 10 and this livia probably gonna start by at the lucius so yeah we're gonna give this a shot let me just refresh it one more time let's go Alright, let's see. I believe it's the Belliaf going first. Ceres to Belliaf, Belliaf to Velfern. And then Sayer. Okay, interesting. Interesting trap. But my Wilhelmina is coming for you next. Here comes. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so that is Foxy first. Interesting. Okay, so now I'm way tankier than before. Tanky Cecilia incoming. What can you guys do? Show me what you got. Velfen. Bzoop. Alright, it's a plus one Velfen. Uh, and sh because of plus one, you know, Velfen gets cursed. So that is. Okay. That is a bummer. That is an extreme bummer that my Wilhelmina died right there. It's unfortunate. But we're gonna slowly remove this Velfen's uh, energy guard, hopefully. Alright, I should be able to tank this for a couple more rounds. The turns are running out soon though. I'm extremely uh, nervous, extremely scared. The turns are running out. We need to do this fast. We need to get rid of the Wilhelmina fast. Seven turns. Come on, give me my perfect win, please. Oh, three turns. Two. Oh, one. No. Dude, what? Come on! The belly of skeletons! Ah! Oh, that... <laughs> that last freaking turn right there! Because of the belly of skeleton. Oh my god, why did that have to... Why did that have to happen? The belly of skeletons really giving me trouble over one turn. One turn of difference. Damn! That was a bummer. That was an extreme bummer. Oh man, it was so close though. It was so close to a perfect win. And because of that one turn, that belly of skeleton can actually... Oh man, I'm speechless right now. I am speechless. That's why belly of is still really good in Guild Wars. Either you want to use her offensively, defensively. She's just so good. Alright guys, uh, it's rather unfortunate, but we're going to end it with a normal win. I guess it's not too bad, but... Yeah, could have, could have gotten slightly more points right there. But definitely it's not the worst one either. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of Belia's skeletons delaying the turns for you to not be able to get a perfect win. Alright, so give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.